was actually the first model I did for the Sofitel. Okay. And they loved it, but they said because it's so much material, it was too expensive for them. So then I did another one. Okay, less, less surface area, less... Yeah, half the material. Okay. But I used this piece, actually, I've, I've used this piece twice. I've done it all red in mm -hmm. Sacramento. I'm doing it in Florida like this piece. Mm -hmm. This is a model for that. And, and the one in Florida is how tall? 14 feet. So from the floor to 14 feet yeah, tall? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. The same with this. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like did it structurally because these pieces tie together and they support each other going up. So it's very structurally sound. Mm -hmm. And then they're tied in here. You so I'm kind of thinking of that structurally as I'm making it mm -hmm. too. Oh, okay. So this supports it too. That's yeah. smart. And yeah. this piece going through the back. Actually, the one I did in uh, Sacramento. This piece didn't go all the way through the back. It ended here. Mm -hmm. And when I installed it, the wind was going, and I noticed the top was like moving. Oh. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna change it and run this piece back and to stabilize it even more. Yeah. So I think structurally, you know, intuitively. So when you're creating your sculptures, you, you do think structurally? In the back of my mind, yeah. I'm thinking about it, yeah. Because you don't want it to run into problems when it's 16 feet tall, right. yeah. and it's windy or whatever. Right. 